we think that there's a fair chance we may get some, some cases over time. Of course, this depends on whether this continues for a long time or whether this turns out to be something which is uh, brought under control uh, relatively quickly by the uh, considerable efforts of the Chinese government. But I think we should definitely see this as a marathon, not a sprint, and we need to have our entire response based on that principle. Well, obviously, our thoughts are very much with the family of the uh, the victim in in, uh, in Yokohama. Uh, the UK National and Foreign Office is uh, doing everything they can to to support. But on the wider issue of uh, coronavirus, which obviously is of great concern to people, I just want to reassure everybody and say that uh, the NHS is making every possible preparation. Coronavirus is of concern. It is a it's a novel illness, but it's something that this country really amply has the resources to deal with. We have state-of-the-art testing facilities. We have a fantastic NHS. Uh, we will have to get through this, uh, but believe me, we are going to beat it. I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. we are now beginning to turn the tide. If this virus were a physical assailant, an unexpected and invisible mugger, which I can tell you from personal experience it is, then this is the moment when we have begun together to wrestle it to the floor. And so it follows that this is the moment of opportunity, this is the moment when we can press home our advantage, it is also the moment of maximum risk. Yeah, yeah there's sometimes a bit four little holes along the top spike that puts the four little bottom band. Raise it up above your ears to the top of your head, that's it. Nice that. Yeah. All you hear is, protect our NHS, protect our NHS, PPE to the front line. We're just as important as the NHS. We try to keep people alive, just like they do in hospitals. <laughs> 